Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's deal with systems of conics. Just like when we had linear equations where we had, say, an x plus y equals 3 and a 4x plus 2y equals 7, we could solve this system by either getting substitution, moving that y across, plugging it in. We could do linear combination by multiplying top and bottom, uh, top or bottom, top and bottom, take your pick. Or we could do it by graphing and saying, hey, I think they kind of cross here. So those methods for solving two systems with two unknowns still works when we come over to conics. The difference is we have things squared. Now, in our case, we have an ellipse with square, square, plus in the middle, two different bases. So an ellipse, we also have a parabola. Now, they could be connected in a bunch more different ways than two lines. I could have an ellipse and a parabola intersect in four places. They could intersect in two places. They could intersect in two places like this. They could actually just intersect in one place, coming down here, or if it happens to graze the edge and come down like this. So we have enough, a, a lot more options here for where, where they might cross. Now, if I deal with these two, probably my best bet, since I have x squared already by itself, is simply to plug it in. So 1 fourth, using substitution, all over 4 plus y squared all over 8 equals 1. I come up with y minus 2 over 16 plus y squared over 8 equals 1. Now, at this point I can multiply everything on both sides by 16. Here I'm going to come up with y minus 2 plus 2y squared equals 16. 2y squared plus y and move the 16 over. Minus 18 equals 0. Now, if there's a good way to simplify this, um, then by all means, otherwise you might have to use the quadratic formula. Now in this case, let's see here, 2y and y and... 3 and 6 and plus and minus, nope, that won't work. If we go 2 and 9, that won't work. Nope, we're going to have to go to the quadratic formula. Now, when you go to the quadratic formula, you're going to come up with uh, opposite of 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 18 all over 2 times 2. You'll notice that plus or minus means when I come down here I get y equals two different values. What I have to do is I then have to take those two different y values, plug them back in, and because I have an x squared and a y squared, we're going to more than likely come up with four different values with two y's and two x's and the way they go. So at minimum two values if not four. So you can go through and take a look solving those systems using quadratic formula resubstituting. Now additionally you could have a problem something like this where you have x times y equals two. Now x times y equals two is actually a hyperbola but it's a hyperbola that is rotated 45 degrees. Okay, rotated 45 degrees. Now it could be rotated this way or the other way depending on sign. But this is a conic. It's from that section where we had the intro video but you did not have to do any problems. In this case, again, your easiest bet would be to maybe use a substitution here and say y equals 2 over x and so if y equals 2 over x, then I can say x squared minus 2 over x, the quantity squared, equals 3. And if I multiply uh, this out, I'm going to come up with x squared minus 4 over x squared equals 3. Multiply everything by x squared. I get x to the fourth minus 4 equals 3x squared. Move everything to one side. And in this case, I think we should be able to factor it down. x squared, x squared 
and if I have negative 4 and plus 1, I believe that ought to do it, equals 0. Now, what happens when we try to go and solve this? I get x plus 2, x minus 2. Over here, x plus 1, x squared plus 1, has no real terms, so I have x equals 2 or negative 2. By plugging it back in to one of the equations, I have 2 squared minus y squared equals 3, and so I have negative y squared equals, that's a 4, so subtract 4 from both sides, negative 1 y squared equals 1, and I get y equals plus or minus 1. So by plugging in 2, I either get 2 comma 1 or 2 comma negative 1. When I plug in negative 2, the negative will go away, but I will still get a plus 1 or minus 1. So I end up with negative 2 comma 1, negative 2 comma negative 1. And that's how you can come up with potentially four points. Additionally, and finally, if I wanted to use linear combination, I have a prop or a ellipse here and a circle here. So let's take a look and see if we can solve these. My best bet would simply be to multiply this entire bottom by negative 1, giving me 4x squared plus y squared equals 8, all over negative x squared minus y squared plus 4. Those two terms are going to cancel out. 3x squared equals 12. x squared equals 4. x equals plus or minus 2 again. Once I have the plus or minus 2, plug it back in, and I'm going to get y equals some additional numbers. So by plugging them back in. Graphing would also work, but graphing is going to be significantly more inaccurate, just like graphing of linear equations. So, you have some problems to do. Um, so you need to solve the following four problems using any of the methods, substitution, combination, or graphing. I probably would not attempt graphing on some of these because decimals are the answers. However, for number four, I do want you to do graphing on number two because its answers should be fairly pretty answers. So those four problems, turn them in. Make sure you don't, don't forget to do the quiz.